me let me now. Uh, I'm going to make you a little trick here. If I if I cannot if I cannot uh, uh, send you an email, if I don't know what your IP is, I can trick your Gmail or your Outlook or whatever to give me your, your IP. Okay. Yeah, you see her name. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, I can, I can, uh, for some of you that are hiding your IP and you don't have a Tor router and you're saying I'm safe because I'm using Gmail webmail. Because some of you are saying, oh, I, okay, I'm okay. I'm using Gmail webmail. So therefore, uh, I'm actually okay. Well, I'm going to scare you now with a new trick called a beacon. Okay, I'm going to show you something called a beacon. Okay, and this is, uh, uh, I have a, on my website here. I have something called a beacon test. Now watch this. This is going to be very, very interesting. This is going to be uh, the most important part of the scope. Actually, I won't click on the link. You don't have to click on the link. <clears throat> you don't have to click on it. There's, but if you're in Thunderbird, you'll be safe. If you're not using Thunderbird, you, you will, you will, uh, you will experience a problem. But if you're using Thunderbird, you will not be, uh, you will be immune from this attack. Okay. If you're using Thunderbird, which is what I recommend you use, you will be immune from my attack here. So if you want to really test this, you have to allow uh, Thunderbird to download download this. And I'll, I'll do it myself in here. Okay, I will actually download it. This is my beacon test. And what it is, is I actually uh, can track anyone who, uh, who uh, uh, loads up my beacon. This is my beacon right here. And what it is, it's just a little HTML that says load up an image. And there's the image that says track me now at ping. Okay, and I'm going to simulate you opening the email by clicking on this little blue icon. And this is what happens when you open your email or it loads itself automatically because it's, you know, taking in messages and loading into your phone. So I'm going to click on that and that's exactly what happens. When, uh, when you click on it and look at that, it recorded my IP address. Okay. Recorded my IP address right there. And there's my beacon. It says, yep, tracked you. Pretty scary. Okay. That's pretty scary right there because you have, you, you will see how scary this is when I actually try it for you. Okay. I'm going to email myself to see, to show you this, uh, in, in a little scarier fashion. Okay. I am going to email, uh, my other account. Okay. Watch this. So I'm going to create a new email and the email is this again, this email will not uh, after this demo. These two accounts are temporary and I will say beacon attack test. What I'm typing there right now. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what I I put on there. Okay, beacon attack test. <clears throat> now, I'm going to embed a secret image into this message that you cannot see. So, here I am. I'm going to embed an image. Okay, and and the image is going to be named HTTPS. Obviously, if I'm trying to be sneaky. I'm not, I'm going to not going to use anything obvious here so you, that you can detect, but I will, uh, I'm using very obvious terms in here. So, you know, that I'm actually, uh, don't worry. Don't worry. You don't need your glasses. Okay. Um, uh, I will track Rob dot PNG. So it looks just like a normal image here in the image location PNG. Okay. Nothing unusual there. Nothing unusual. I'm going to put that on there. Watch this. You see nothing. Okay. Look, you don't see anything on there. Okay. This is a scary beacon test. I'm going to send this email. Sent. Okay, now I'm gonna go back 
to this beacon test here and refresh it. Look at that. <clears throat> I will track rob.png and it found my actual IP address right there. And I can put any words I want on there that will identify who it is and found your IP. And let's look at that email again. Here, open up this email. Okay, beacon attack test. Here, I'm, I'm, this is a scary beacon test. Okay, now, what do you see here? Do you see anything on there? He says, I'm a blogger. There's nothing in this email that you can see. You cannot recognize any kind of threat on here. There's nothing visible on the threat. There's, a, there's nothing showing here, my friends. You can see the problem with this. There's nothing visible. There's nothing at the bottom. The, the, the email ends at the top. This is a scary beacon test. There's, no, there's nothing here. I'm going to look at the source to show you where the actual you know, scary part is. But simply by looking at this email and sometimes preloading it, your head was blocking the beacon by ping. There is no ping in there. There you do not see beacon.ping. There is no ping. There's nothing here. Trust me, there's nothing. I cannot scroll. There's nothing else in here. It's an invisible. No, the prior page. Oh, you mean this one on the bottom here? Oh, I see. Well, you mean the tracker, the tracker message. There, I'll move the tracker message. Oops, sorry. Didn't want to see that. I was closing it. There. I was closing that. Okay, so there's a track message right there. Okay. So every time it's clicked, we can see who's no, 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 who's using this tracking message right there. It is secretly embedded. This is the kind of hack that I'm telling you that I can do to you and you'll never know. You'll never know. And by the way, the from could be from anywhere. I can type this up with a different name and you'll never know who it is from. Okay. I'm going to show you the source to show you how this actually looks and why you cannot see the, uh, see it. Okay. Here's the actual, uh, here's the actual traffic and watch, by the way, there it record recorded my actual IP address. Okay. There including my machine name. <clears throat> I have a MacBook Pro. It recorded the machine name, recorded the IP address right there. Okay, of course you can't really hack that because that's a VPN, but there it is. If I did not have a VPN, I would be quite exposed now. Now, this is the beacon at the bottom and look at this. I'm gonna expand it so you can see. Let me blow it up in size so, to show you what the email looks like at the bottom. This is the beacon. Sorry. <clears throat> it's a one by one image. It's invisible. It's invisible. You're not going to see that. There is no zucking to that. It just looks like an average PNG file. You are not going to know that it's dangerous because the only reason you know it's dangerous is because I put little words in there to scare you. I will track Rob, the beacon. These are scary terms in there, but I could have just made it uh, just uh, as benign as could be, like making it look like a logo, saying this is from Facebook. I, I can make it uh, as uh, benign as, and you'll never see this because look again. There is no trace here. Look at this email. <clears throat> Look at this email here. Did you see any trace there? <clears throat> Do you see any indication that uh, you, that you're that you're hacked? None. You're not going to see it. If I'm going to attack you like this, you will never know. You will never know. <clears throat> okay. It, it can go to your spam folder. I'll track you anyway. Unless you use Thunderbird. If you use Thunderbird, then I'm not going to be able to do it. So the, to thwart me, use Thunderbird. Because I can find your IP address and find out who you are. 
find your IP address and then do a do a nmap and try to hack you directly with your computer okay so a bad guy can do do a lot of bad stuff with this okay I'm gonna tell you how to do this right from a command line so you can see I'm gonna do the exact same thing on here okay I'm gonna send a let me just erase this so we can start from a clean screen and I'm gonna send you a beacon from the command line <clears throat> so you can see exactly how it how what it looks like okay okay so I'm gonna again connect my mail server okay I'm connecting to my mail server okay and then I'm gonna type uh, this domain I could have any domain doesn't matter but for this test to, to override my security uh, move over hold on let me move my picture over sorry okay moving my picture over because I'm in the way okay so I'm gonna type uh, 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 mail oops mail I hope it doesn't time out here because I'm too slow from um, hacker at brax dot me so I can put any name in here even an invalid one it's not gonna know receipt to uh, periscope at byte.io okay <clears throat> okay and then I'm gonna type data this is exactly how email is sent to this I'm gonna put a title say to uh, periscope oops periscope at bytes dot io from hacker at brax dot me uh, subject command line beacon <clears throat> okay and uh, mime uh, version 1.0 content type text HTML character set equals UTF eight uh, content transfer encoding seven bit okay now I'm gonna put the actual HTML now now this is where I put the beacon in so I put HTML in case any of you know HTML it just looks like that okay then <clears throat> then I'm gonna put uh, body okay and then we're gonna put the image and the image is just this image source equals https brax.me slash beacon and then here I can customize it to any name it doesn't matter what I call it so this could be my tracker because I can track the purpose uh, command line tracker dot PNG so the PNG is used to trick the browsers I mean the client to think it's a valid image because it is in fact not a PNG but it makes it seem like it command line tracker PNG okay and uh, oops I probably should put a closing slash okay 
And then here, type another message. This is a message that doesn't show the beacon. Okay, then I'm gonna close it now with a close body. Close HTML. End it. Quit. Done. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you can spoof email addresses with this. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna see uh, see it, and there's the email here on my inbox. Command like beacon. Okay. You can see this exactly what I said. This is a message that doesn't show the beacon. Uh, you can't see the beacon there, right? But let's look at the tracker now and see if the tracker found it. Okay, did I have a typo? Because the tracker is not showing it at the moment here. Oh, yeah. Now, this is what I'm trying to explain to you. I'm running here. Okay, this is running. This is running. Um, um, what do you call this? Uh, Thunderbird. Thunderbird will stop this from being tracked. Thunderbird will stop this from being tracked. So this is one of the reasons why you use Thunderbird. Because uh, I think I have a typo though. Because it should show me the option to say download the image. But there's a typo. But the point is, <coughs> if this were, if this were Thunderbird, it actually stops uh, the beacon from from being exposed. So that's one of the main main tricks for you. Is if you use Thunderbird, you're going to be safe. Okay, I recommend that you you start using Thunderbird if you want to protect yourself from this attack. This is a this is a you know if you're using Outlook, Outlook is one of the worst. Uh, uh, Windows Mail, by the way, Windows Mail, depending on how you load it, remembers your your router your router address and actually reveals it. Okay, let's see. What do you see? Johnny Boy. Okay, but Johnny Boy, your your. Uh, okay, let's check out what we can see from Johnny Boy here. Received, received, okay, Gmail. Uh, was this webmail? Let me see, I can't tell from here yet. Uh, Google, it says webmail? Looks like webmail. So if you're using webmail, then only Google can easily see see your stuff, okay? If you're using webmail. So back to back to what I'm, what I'm uh, talking about here. When you're using, when you're using, uh, 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 Thunderbird. Thunderbird will actually stop. Let me just do, where's that beacon thing I did sent earlier? It's over here. Beacon attack test, this one. When, when you're, uh, when you're uh, uh, doing a, uh, a, uh, a uh, email attack, like the one I'm doing, and you're using, you're using uh, um, Thunderbird, Thunderbird, Thunderbird will not allow <clears throat> Thunderbird will not allow your email to, to open up HTML that can do the beacon attack. Okay, so this is something that can actually stop you. This is this is why I recommend using using uh, Thunderbird. This is one of the the major the major solutions to to this attack. So I have made sure it's a it's a program from Mozilla. It's made by the same people that make Firefox. So this is a Thunderbird uh, client right here. If you want to be safe, dump your Windows, Outlook, whatever, and use uh, use Thunderbird. It's a lot safer. I've tested it. It's safer. So you can't trace when using webmail. Uh, not true, Johnny Boy. I can send you a beacon. Okay, so uh, Jenna Avers, stop ignoring read the comments. You are featured. Yes, I know Jenna, but I, it doesn't matter. Featured, not featured is not... Uh, is not uh, relevant at the moment, but I appreciate the fact that they featured. But uh, I got to concentrate on my on my subject matter. 
So, I, you know, uh, uh, so Thunderbird, Thunderbird is, is, uh, prevents this kind of attack. So let's say, again, I'm looking at some of these people. Some of you here are sending, uh, let me see, Gmail. So somebody like this, you know, where Ross here sent me an email using, using uh, Gmail. So I'm going to look at the uh, message source, see how I can hack this and say, okay, so, and I see, in theory, that would be a IP address that I can hack right there. Okay. <clears throat> so that could be a, a line of attack right there. I know he's in a Tor router. I can see that. This is a Tor router. So I know I can't actually attack this, but let's say that he's not in a Tor router. He's one of the people who, who has a Tor router that I made. So I know that I cannot attack that. <clears throat> okay. Now, I, you came in, okay, I'll explain what I can do again. Okay, so so somebody like this, I say, well, I can't actually hack, uh, you know, one uh, 185, 104, 120, 60 because he's on Gmail. And Gmail will hide your IP, as I already showed you. So the way I would attack this uh, user is to send them a beacon. So again, what is a beacon? This is what advertisers use presumably not in a bad way. They're sending you beacons all the time to track if you open their message. This is how they know, this is how spammers know that you opened up a message is with a beacon. Unfortunately, the beacons can be used by bad guys. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be an example here and act like a bad guy by sending you a beacon and I've already shown you how easy it's to send a beacon. And I'm gonna prepare a beacon right here to send it to my own account and I'm gonna say, uh, mail demo at Braxton Media will be my target account here and uh, beacon test two. Okay, and this is what a beacon looks like. I embedded a secret image that is not really an image, the program I wrote. I wrote a beacon program right there. <clears throat> and the beacon program looks like an image. So I'm gonna put this image on here, which is actually invisible. This is not an actual image, it's not visible to you. And I wrote this and, and I can put any kind of tracking name on here, depending on who the recipient is. So recipient code one, two, three, this will tell me that this recipient opened it. Okay. And I can name it anything I want. So, <clears throat> okay. Attach this image to message. No alternate text. No, uh, and that's it. And then I type that and you can see nothing. There is no image here. You see that there's no image. I'm gonna send it now, that's secret beacon. And it was sent, okay? It was sent and there it is, there's the beacon. There's a beacon email that it shows you. Now, again, the problem with this attack is I can now go here to my beacon program and it will tell me that this was opened right there. I have now identified that user to be 173239228529. <clears throat> Unfortunately, reveal image and all that does not solve it because many, many clients, including Mac Pro, Windows Mail, Outlook, and all of this, they pre open the email in the background. They pre open it in the background. So you are still going to be zocked. <clears throat> Okay, they open the email without you knowing it. So then you're stuck. I've actually tried this. I think they're in cahoots. I think this email, uh, these companies like Microsoft are in cahoots with the, uh, the advertisers. They know advertisers want to track you, so they allow it. Only Thunderbird does not allow it. So I'm gonna use Thunderbird. I'm not gonna trust any other email uh, client because Thunderbird says, okay, we want to protect you, the user, against these kinds of beacons and most people do not. So there, I'm actually able to track this and I'm now exposing the fact that this email <coughs> exposed the IP address of my target. It, even if you have I, images turn off, <coughs> it, even if you have, I've tested it, even when you have images turn off the in the background, they upload it anyway. It's called a beacon, it's sometimes called a pixel. Again, bad guys can use it. And now, why is this important for a bad guy? Because 
for bad guy, this IP address can reveal who you are exactly. Also, that can give me an attack point for Nmap. I can go scan your, your machine and then scan your, uh, your uh, I can scan your, uh, your router and then go attack your router. See if I can get into your system. Will Zuckerberg protect you? No zucking way. Okay, so that, that's, this is why this is very, very dangerous stuff. You just got back. There's no Thunderbird for mobile devices, no. <clears throat> Fortunately, on a mobile device, the, uh, the IP address is not very revealing if you're not on Wi-Fi. This is the scary part. If you're on Wi-Fi, if you're going to use your phone, stick to the, uh, stick to the uh, a VPN and use the, uh, the normal <clears throat> uh, data plan if you're going to receive email on the phone. That will protect you. If you're at home on a home Wi-Fi, I would say don't use a home sucking Wi-Fi on your phone if you're gonna have email on it. Use a Tor router. This is an uh, for those of you who are new. This is a Tor router. <clears throat> this is the device I make. <clears throat> Knowing the problems that I'm showing you here and what can happen with the with the devices here on. Uh, I mean, with attacks that uh, happen that I teach you, teach you about uh, it, a, a, uh, a uh, router Wi-Fi is going to expose your email address, just like I showed you in the example. And I'm going to show you the troll that attacked me. Uh, so. Open Floyd Bannister. Okay, I, I'm going to. Hold on. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm going to. Uh, by the way, the Tor Wi Fi router is a device I sell to hide your IP address, and all this is going to protect you. And it's available from my. There's a three dots on the bottom. You can see the link to that. And you, if, you, if you need a VPN to protect yourself, because you all need VPNs to, to handle this then uh, go to my website whatthezuck.net and this by the way in case you, some of you don't know me some of the newbies were just walking in uh, coming into my scope <clears throat> I've been talking about Cambridge Analytica and Zuckbook for two zucking years and telling you about how Cambridge Analytica is getting your data from Zuckbook and uh, Two years I've been talking about this. And now it's in the Zucking News because Whoopi Goldberg said so. Oh my gosh, you know, Zuckbook is revealing our data to Cambridge Analytica. It's like, come on, get some new news here. Tor is not dodgy. You're dodgy. <clears throat> okay, so, <clears throat> so, you know, I'm the one that been talking to you about how they were able to get that data from Facebook through apps two Zucking years ago. It's incredible. Well, leave, Philip. We don't care about you. <clears throat> Two sucking years ago, I was telling you about it, and and uh, you know just now it's uh, all hot stuff. Okay, I'm, this stuff I'm telling you right now. Whoopi Goldberg doesn't know about beacons yet. So Whoopi Goldberg doesn't know about beacons. Two years from now, she'll be doing a broadcast on the View, saying, uh, "Oh my gosh, beacons, suck." Okay, so uh, okay, so uh, which Floyd Bannister do I do I open? I already opened the Floyd Bannisters in here. Which uh, which uh, Floyd Bannister have I not opened? Okay, so I've already opened the open yours. Okay, so here received from Sonic Gate. Floyd Bannister, okay, let's see. Uh, this is from Yahoo, uh, Yahoo Webmail. So, <clears throat> so well, again, if somebody attacks me and I can't tell because they're using Gmail Webmail or, or Yahoo Webmail, I can beat that. <clears throat> I can beat that with a beacon. Okay, I can beat that with a beacon because you're gonna, you know, the beacon will reveal our actual IP. So. 
So don't worry, if I if I didn't get you with the direct IP address on your message, I'll get you with a Zakim Beacon because I'll just respond to you, I'll send you a Zakim Beacon and you are zucked. <clears throat> okay, zuck you very easily. So if you want to get zucked easily, then uh, don't protect yourself. If you understand what I'm teaching you here, then you will understand that there are many, many things you need to understand about email. Again, to, to repeat my earlier broadcast here where I was talking about this, this is a command line conversation of email that I just demonstrated to you live. <clears throat> now, since, since I uh, sent me a naked picture, uh, uh, he sent me a naked picture. This is what I rolled it. JM, I'm not going to hack you troll. Don't worry about it. He's scared. I was going to hack him now. I'm not going to hack you. It was kind of fun for you to do it because it, uh, I, I use it for demonstration here. So he sent a naked picture in here. I don't want to scroll down and see what this naked picture show <clears throat> in case uh, Periscope blocks me because of it. <clears throat> but obviously that uh, I can see half the body and I can see uh, that he's uh, looks like he's showing his junk there. But uh, there is no Brax email. Bonzoix, Brax does not have email. I, I'm trying to discourage you from using email. Okay, email, proton mail, a safe assignment. No, Johnny boy, no. <clears throat> no. I can still hack you with Thunderbird, don't worry. With, I mean, with proton mail, no. Proton mail will still reveal all the metadata, no. You are not safe with proton mail. Do you have a tool for extracting groups out of social media sites? Uh, hit me with beacon as a live demo. I, 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 there's a, I have a typo in my, my beacon here. I, I made a typo in my, uh, in the way I'm transmitting this and I can't debug it right now. So, so I don't want to send a beacon with a typo. So I'll have to, uh, there must be something wrong in what I'm doing, <clears throat> but, but I want to show you this example here of, of this, uh, troll email that I got from uh, from somebody here and I just want to show you how revealing this is because this is the troll data so there's this junk which by the way the National Zucking Agency has a copy of that junk picture now okay.